Hi, thanks for joining us here in Wageningen, where the groundbreaking ceremony is going to take place for the Unilever Global Foods Innovation Center. The first guests are arriving. Let's go inside. I think that this is a great moment, not only for Wageningen, uh, the university here, uh, but certainly also for Unilever itself. Unilever and Wageningen will complement, strengthen and inspire each other. It will help us to mobilize a true understanding of how the different roles of research, of consumers, of businesses all have to match together to make this an equitable and well-fed and sustainable world. As long as people go to bed hungry, which could have been us, we have a moral obligation. So Jan, that was a spectacular ceremony, right? Yeah, wasn't it wonderful? This is really a splendid uh, event. Uh, look at the network, and this is something that we really worked towards two years long. Paul, you're the architect. What can you tell us about the building and the sustainability aspects? Uh, well, this is a very sustainable building. Uh, one of the cool features, what you don't see so much, is uh, the fact that we have uh, circularity in materials. So we have a lot of recycled content in all our materials. How will it change food innovation? Right, so the Innovation Center, as I said before, is really about the ecosystem. It's not only about the building, because if we're just building a building, it's just a new lab or a new building. Everybody can do that. But here is really about how do we build and leverage the ecosystem. We often talk about an ecosystem in Unilever, which is how we can combine the depth of our technical expertise in terms of our business with the kind of scientific, academic research that will go on in a university setting. And that combination of that, also with the startup kind of environment that also exists in Wagner University, I think those three sort of legs of the stool together, I think will create a beautifully innovative environment where we can truly have some new ideas, some new thinking going on, and again get some brilliant innovation going on for Unilever Foods. Well, I think it uh, can deliver great opportunities for students who want to work together on internships or on research and also for startups. Yeah, you're going to work together. Indeed, yeah, we're in full preparation actually already to be uh, sure that Unilever Innovation Center and the startup community will be engaged. What are the consequences for Gelderland of this new project? Um, it's a huge inflow of knowledge, of people coming to work here, uh, of prestige. Um, and we, are, we want to be the first world province in food research, so that helps enormously. A lot of the speakers have said it, what's really important, the food system today is really in dire trouble. So it's part of the sustainable development goals, you know, food is life. Without food, we're nothing. So therefore we have to make it work for everybody. So I think we'll pick up on some of these trends around more natural, more authentic, more sustainable foods. We call it Foods 2.0. And I think again that partnership of being here with Wagner University will help us to accelerate in that space. As we hear today, collaboration is key to innovation. The building is expected to be finished by 2019. We will keep you posted. Bye.